I record it. Hi everyone, welcome to the January 2022 Shade Tree Commission for the Town of Weathersfield. Uh, it is Monday, January 10th, 7.30 p.m. This is a virtual meeting that's being recorded in accordance with the Governor's Executive Order 7B. I hereby call this meeting to order. I am Corey. I'm the tree warden for the town of Weathersfield. I see three of our commission members here, Alex Graver, Bruce Graver, and Mark Albert. Thanks for coming. Is there any public comment? Seeing no public comment, um, let's move to old business, which is to approve the December minutes. I'll make a motion to um, a pass the minutes. They look good to me. Is second. there a second? Second. Thank you for the second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say aye. Motion passes. In new business, um, <clears throat> there's a, a removal we've got to do at 43 and 41 State Street. I wrote it this way because I feel that um, it's not negotiable. And I just wanted to talk about it because of the particular situation that it is that, that I've uh, communicated to a number of different residents. So the motion, the um, not the motion, the new item business here is there will be a Norway Maple removal at 41 and 43 State Street. This is a really um, nice little Norway Maple that I really don't want to cut down. Um, we've pruned it because it, it's a town tree, even though it's it's well behind the sidewalk and all. Um, just State Street has a little bit of an interesting right away shape. This um, this tree, we, we raised it up a little bit, gave it a little house clearance. Um, the guy's having a sewer pipe issue. And I think, I think um, you guys are familiar with the way that I approach the sewer pipe roots conflict as far as course of action, which is if there needs to be an excavation or if there's going to be an excavation, I should say, <laughs> to repair a sewer pipe and the digging that will occur to perform that necessary repair falls within what you could, would consider the critical root zone of the tree, um, which, which is some of, somewhat of a judgment call so long as the tree is not fully encircled in the critical root zone. I think a trench on one side is sometimes, is sometimes not too much to ask of a, of a tree. Um, e even though it's even though it's close, you know, but in this case, um, I have good information from a contractor that's working on this resident's behalf to repair the 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 sewer pipe problem. So I, I have a lot of confidence that um, this excavation must take place, and that the pipe is where it's it's said to. B, which is apparently directly underneath the the root, like like on dead center from sidewalk to street, um, from the sidewalk to this guy's house. <clears throat> the contractor is Chachio. Um, I did investigate this before to find out where the pipes were, because you know their concern was was the sewer. Um, green is sewer and i saw that green was marked um well to the left of this tree and and uh what would that direction would that be it would be east of the tree on state street <clears throat> um i i met out there with brian DiCiaccio. he explained to me that, that um in all likelihood, the, because of where the pipe exits the basement, there would have to be some kind of an angle from um, left to right, which, which would kind of cross closer right behind this tree, between the tree and the house, if you will. Um, they ultimately wound up 
using a different survey technique to to identify where the pipe was. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not super clear on their methods, but he said that they went in, I believe, from the basement into the pipe to be able to then like ID exactly where the pipe was. And, a, and their information to me was that the was that the um, the green marking was actually incorrect as far as um, where the sewer was. I feel as though I have to take their word for it. Um, Whose word are you taking? I'm taking DeChaccio's word for okay, it. Okay, that's the bet. That's not that's not the right guy to get the word from. He's the contractor. That's a conflict of interest. Okay, he's going to make his job. He always does make his job easier. He doesn't care where the pipe is either. And he doesn't know. And you don't know, but you're taking his word for it. You got to get somebody else, the water company or somebody yeah, else. They did. They marked it. That's what he so said. They, so, so DiCaccio is saying that that's not right. I, I understand. I'm just saying <laughs> so, his so you're, Corey just said he's taking DiCaccio's word for it. You know, that's like taking the stockbroker who, who did the pyramid scheme and taking his word for it, making 25% of money off your thing and you're broke. So, I mean, that's a conflict of interest. So that, that's my opinion about that, you know? And what's wrong with the sewer pipe? It's getting clogged by the tree all the time? He said it's pretty well blocked, you know, and we know so why that- Why can't they do roto rooter? We know that the- we know that the pipe allows the roots in rather than the roots having a predatory effect on, on the pipes in most I, cases. Yeah. I know that so, the pipe has a crack in it. That's why the roots are going in there. So you've right, got to do right. rotor rooter every year, every two years and keep the pipe clear. So rotor rooter every year as needed is not what is not the is not the precedent we've set. I do feel as though people choose that route because it's more economical than having their pipe with placed a lot of times however what I, what i've been the message i've been telling people is that if an if a excavation to repair the pipe is going to take place to ensure that roots will not be able to to ensure the pipe is in good shape if the tree is in the way of that construction which is like a necessary you know which is what i would which i would call a necessary item you know, is in the, is too close that it can't like survive the construction project, which is, I hear you on the conflict of interest, but um, seems to be, it, it's, it, it's, it's at least, it's at least borderline, a borderline judgment call if it was where the green mark says it is. The no, so, so just, just to back up for a second, if the if the pipe is where the green mark it where where MDC marked it out to be right, and then it takes this jog over to where it enters the basement, which is like an estimation, right? The excavation would still require like a lot of limbing of the tree on one side, and would also be pretty close to the flare where it's a borderline call, even though you know the tree would definitely last for a few years. Okay, so um, are they proposing to so, put a, so whole, like, a whole new sewer pipe in? Yeah, so like if if the, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a short run. I think they would replace the whole thing. Right, right. And um, you, you do it with a with the proper piping because this is probably 100-year-old pipe or whatever the house was built, right, you know, right. and it's falling apart. I agree with that. But are they going to fix the pipe or put a whole new uh, thing in there? Uh, a whole new pipe. You don't know that either. I'm. I have to take. The, I. I don't know. Because exactly if you're going to sacrifice a tree, a town tree, you should say, "Well, they got to do the whole pipe. They can't just fix it. The chacho just can't there do half a job. Fix the whole thing." But the homeowners might be doing a fix it up job, and you know. Now, what are you going to do about the tree? What do you propose? Okay, so you got to take the tree down. It looks like everybody's mind is made up. The tree has got to go. Now that's going to be it. You got to do the tree because it looks like you could change the uh, boundaries of that whole. That was supposed to be the Silas Dean Highway. That's why those markers are so big. 
because that was supposed to be the main thoroughfare uh, in the beginning of time instead of the Silas Dean. They changed the whole deal of that. Yeah, right. So now Hartford Avenue got their uh, their borders halfway up the yard, and so does State Street. So, you know, that tree should be a private tree, but now you have to take it down for nothing. So at least we should propose they should put a tree back in their yard. Or, of course, they won't want a tree. Who wants a tree back in their yard? It's a lot of work. I wouldn't after I got my new pipe put in. Yeah, of course, but if you have a proper pipe put in, I a proper pipe, a roots don't get in there. Okay, these are yeah, clay just, pipes. Sorry. Yeah. It yeah. yeah. doesn't affect new pipes that they put in today. Okay. Bruce, I think you make a good point that it could be a conflict of interest. The reason I haven't looked into this farther is because, like I said, it's a borderline call, you know, to keep the tree, even if, even if uh, it was where the, where the green mark is, it really, it, it really is like not my preference to have to prune this thing to the spec right, where an right. okay. can I agree with you. Uh, I agree with you on all stuff. that and everything, you know? you know, I'm talking about a big tall knuckle on an excavator to get in there. Yeah. You know, even, a, if, even a mini X is like, it's tall. Right. 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 So it's going to be silly. The tree's not even like, you know, the tree's what, like 30 feet tall. Yeah, I know. I know. You but know, it happens right? to be probably the best tree in the whole street. Okay. I know, so I know. that's neither here nor there too. But yeah. now what I'm saying is that it looks like the tree got to go. You got to take the tree down uh, for nothing. Okay. For them. Well, uh, okay. So you it's on town it, property. It's on town property. Right. It's on town okay. property. That does kind of beg the question. Why is the work being done? The sewer work being done by a private contractor instead of MDC. Right. I trust that the problem is on private and maybe also in town property, or maybe it's some but, kind of unique situation but, that. But Corey, I think that the private people got to take care of that, even though it's uh, the the sewer pipe goes on town property. I think it's a private deal. Okay. Was, uh, it, if you want to do experience. your sewer pipe, just like if you want to put a gas line in into that house, and the gas line is in the middle of State Street. You got to pay for that gas line to come in. Not you pay for half, and the homeowner pays for half. You got to pay for the gas line to get hooked up to your house, and the gas company will charge you. Um, whether who does yeah. who digs this pipe, it's going to be on the homeowner. So, in my the, experience, in my experience, where the town property meets private property is yeah. where MDC's jurisdiction starts and finishes. You know so, I mean? did you get MDC to talk to you about this? No, but they did this mark out, right? Yeah. And then and then the Tachio looked into it closer. Yeah. Right. And I and you know, I am basing this on the town having a good relationship with the Tachio, you know, a, tr a long trusted relationship. You know what I mean? They could be, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a conflict of interest, but okay. like I said, the tree Okay, I'm saying why wouldn't you, you want to go talk right to an MDC official? You, you talk to Brian DiCaccio, or I not talk to the MDC guy too? Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I don't give know. Him a call. I don't know. It's close either way. I don't want to have to do, yeah, do the, I, I I don't agree, but, do the removal. But why not talk to the MDC guy too? Yeah. I, I, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah. so what do you propose going forward now? The tree's got to come down. Okay. And the now the tree's got to come down. I'm going to suggest, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to ask the, the contractor to remove the stump for us because they're digging there anyway, like right on it. Yeah, they 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 should dig it out because yep. it's and then a, honestly, like, like, that's most of the job right there. The tree's easy. I mean, honestly, uh, I'm not I'm not dead set on replacing that tree. Um, if the okay. resident wants it, I, I don't let them talk. I don't blame you either. Don't put the same tree, but they ought to be responsible to put a tree somewhere in the town. They should say, "Well, we're taking your tree down. We want to." You know, this is our, our policy. We'll take the tree down. We'll make an exception. You're putting a sewer pipe in. Now we need you to pay for a tree somewhere else. We'll pick the spot. You have to pay $400 uh, for that uh, tree for next spring somewhere. That's what I would say. We're losing a tree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, this, this particular situation has not come around a lot in my tenure. And um goodness i can think of one or two times where 
it's like this where the tree's got to go because construction is happening. I think we've had it where we've had it where the trees closer than you would accept for the digging, but they chose roto rooter or whatever instead of instead of to replace the sewer pipe. Right, right. You know what I mean? And I don't know what kind of tricks you know you can do with like boring through the ground instead of an open pit or something. But well, roto rooter, see, I just had a consultation the other day up there on Wheeler Road or something. The guy really loved his Norway maple and every all the contractors were telling him, you know, you have to take your tree down. He called me to get a price on the tree because we have to put a new sewer pipe in. I said, did you ever call rotor rooter and you could save your tree and find out what it costs for rotor rooter if you're going to only stay in the house five more years, you rotor rooter it uh, once a year. I don't know what it costs, but it's not going to cost as much to put a new sewer pipe in and take the tree down because this was a private tree. Sure enough, he wrote me a letter saying, thank you for your advice. That's what I'm doing because long as my toilet flushes, I don't frankly care uh, what happens, uh, which is true. But a contractor wants to make money on that. He wants to get the tree out, put a new sewer pipe. It's thousands of dollars. It's a good gig. Sure. Okay. Well, the, from the town perspective, we're trying to make sure this guy can, can flush his toilet of course. And, uh, and have a good landscape around from the tree perspective, right? Yeah. Um, what do you do? You propose a motion. Me? Yeah. Or is there any other discussion? I make a motion to remove the tree. <laughs> well, Corey, it looks I, like I'm no, well, the reason I say that, Bruce, is because yeah. I would. If you want to propose a motion that he's required to replace the tree, then we can do that. You know, but if you if Alex, you would like to make a motion to of to not do that. I just make a motion to remove the tree and call it done. All right, but before we continue with that, uh, Mark, do you have any do you have any opinion on this? No, well, the my thought was if the uh, the tree has to come out or it has to come out because the homeowner wants to do something and it's a healthy tree, then like Bruce said, maybe maybe he pays for it. I don't know what the precedent is, but you know, I see this as I see this as the the resident must act. You know what I mean? Well, because yeah. of, you know what I mean? It's not like it's not an elective sort of thing. Even though he's electing to have go with go with like pipe replacement, right? Instead of rotor rooter. But, but why? Why did he get a? Did you get a rotor rooter guy to to ask what his chances? Did they put a the rotor rooter guys put a put a uh, camera in there and take a look at the pipe, take a look at it, take a look at the roots. And then when if he gives you a report, you call Roto-Rooter and the Roto-Rooter gives you a report saying, oh, this is $200. We see cracks in the pipes, but we can guarantee that this Roto-Rooter after we do is gonna last two years, two years, because we're gonna really- I would want a new pipe. Roto-Root that right out of there. Would you want a I would new want, pipe? I would want a new if pipe. If it's gonna cost you 20 totally. grand, Better than a rotor. I mean, it, it, sir, it depends the person, man. I would want okay, a new pipe. I wouldn't okay. want the damn thing putting band-aids okay, on. For it. me, I would want, you want as a new a, pipe too. As a, give me that. As a as a yeah, but I'm not. This is you'd my wanna, you'd my want a deal. New pipe. A, you would say, get rid of the tree and put a new pipe in. I probably <laughs> wouldn't, but it's not my tree. But I'm working. So for now you're now. busting balls because no, it's no, not no. your tree. I'm, I, uh, let the guy I'm working for the town. In. I'm working for the town to save trees. And if rotor I totally appreciate where you. It worked. I totally then I'd say do road over and save the tree. I totally appreciate where you're coming from on wanting to be careful of the precedent here. You know, I think that's I think that's a lot of what we're like I'm concerned with and where I kind of hear in that we have to be pro-tree. Absolutely. Right, right. You know, and believe me, I've 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 been a pain in the neck to these folks already. Uh, you know, okay. pushing back. So so you get a contract. That's what I mean by conflict of interest. You right. get a guy, you get a guy, a contractor that wants the job. And of course, that's the better thing to do, just like Alex said. Of course it is. But we're losing a tree. There are other solutions, and that's what should be done. That that's 
unless the rotor rooter guy says, wow, this pipe is really smashed up pretty bad. You know, do you, don't you want all your facts first before you get the vaccine? You want all your facts first, right? So, so they, you know, Dechaccio in isn't isn't just going in cold, right? They they have inspected the pipe. They, they have. I, they have identified its location. Yeah, they went in from the basement. Said that there is a pretty well blocked pipe. Okay, okay. like <laughs> that, a, we uh, a good one. that we know. That we know because the roots. We know that. But you don't right. want to get a second opinion from a rotor rooter guy. I mean. Um, because this guy has a good reputation with the top. Okay. I mean, <laughs> that's what I mean by getting the facts. All you have yeah. to do is call Rotor Rooter and get permission from the homeowner to go in the basement and, and make it. Pay for that, the town. Right. I mean, you're at, you know. Okay. So I don't know. Do you want so to call the FBI too and have them inspect the pipes? Jesus. Well, this is our tree. Okay. So we're, is, are we going to pay Rotor Rooter then? We're, what if we're not paying to charge you? We're not what, paying what, to charge you. What? You know what I mean? What? We wouldn't be, we're not paying to charge you. Like, no, I know. If the, and you probably if wouldn't resident... have to pay Rotor Rooter for an estimate. I give free estimates. He comes in there and sure. he wants the job and he can expect the button and say, hey, look it, this is what it's gonna cost. We we can't fix this. Then it's a no-brainer, I guess. Mm -hmm. I would like to see that first. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think a Dichaccio went in there with a camera because I don't think they have one to look at the pipe. Um, I can ask. I can I can reach out tomorrow. But wouldn't you want a second opinion? I hear you. I hear you. Again, good relationship. They did some homework on it, and you know what I mean. They're not just they're not just saying oh they're gonna dig. You know, I know. What I mean? But do you realize these are highly profitable jobs and? And it's a nice job right there. And, and money is an influence. All right. Okay. All Let right. me reach out. Let me reach out tomorrow. We can table this. But Mark, can Mark what that. do you think? Mark, let's get, Mark is kind of quiet yeah. on this. That's because you're talking yeah. too much. <laughs> no, you're all right, Bruce. It's just, uh, you know, it would be nice to have, uh, like you said, impartial opinion. I don't know what the, what the uh, protocol is on that. If it's the contractor that should check the pipe or NBC or you know you it seems like there should just be somebody that checks it and they're they're the final word you know rather than have to uh debate about it right like, like you said instance, too though who wants to spend 20 grand on putting a new pipe in there must be something wrong with the pipe if he wants to spend that money to put right. it in you said it yourself I I realize that but you want the whole purpose here is to flush a toilet and I don't blame you get a backup and rotor because I have clients with trees on their pipes. I have, I do consultations on this and people do like to save their tree and contractors are awfully adamant to take the tree down and put a new pipe in. And, and right. they, they want, people they want, want to do that. Maybe, he, okay. has a Maybe <laughs> he wants to take the tree down and landscape the front yard a little nicer and put the brand new pipe in and put like a rock garden. In front. I don't care what he wants to do. That's yeah. not, they're here. You know, they're there, but the contractors always want to do it the easy way. Take the tree down and be done with it. But there are other ways to do it. Why not get that opinion? If I can, if I can confirm that the pipe is actually where DiCiaccio says it is. And um, I want to hear that. I want to hear Rotor Rooter get down there and, and take some pictures and see what right. he says and get a report. I don't care where the pipe is to tell you the truth, because you're right. If the pipe's a little west or east of it or something, it's going to ruin the tree. But what if we don't have to take the, do the pipe? And what if Rotor Rooter says, I can guarantee this, your thing's not to clog for two years. After two years, the roots may grow in again. We come in again. And what if they charge 250 bucks to do that? Maybe the homeowner will be shocked and say to Chachio, wow, why didn't he tell us that? I can... I can um, ask the residents again. Um, I believe that they said it's been Rotor Rooter before. Um, I can I can suggest all that. Rotor Rooter doesn't last a lifetime. You have to constantly yeah. do it. like cut your grass. Got to oh, cut it once a week. So I think I think the I, I don't know how much of an official I could be on this, but I I really 
I feel that it's it should be the residents' choice as to how they solve their sewer problem. And like I said, if they elect to replace their pipe to have a good pipe situation, because again, there's no, you know, I haven't been down in the basement to see it, right? But to me, there's no doubt that pipes are disrupting, I'm sorry, that roots are disrupting the pipe. Yeah, because right? those pipes so, are old and they're there's a problem. Yeah. I think I the agree. resident gets, I think the resident gets to decide how to resolve it. Yeah. Even though what you're saying, obviously, voter router is a good service and could work, you know, but I'm not going to tell them they're going to have a Band-Aid fix if they're electing to, you know, do a more lasting solution. I don't, I don't think we get to step in and tell them you can't, you, you I can't. Know. How do you know, it. how do you know what DiCiaccio told them? Okay. All right. All right. So you don't know that. You All don't right. know how somebody can sell a job. You know, yep. you're, you, you sell jobs, I sell jobs. You don't know when you really want a job. I, I'm not saying anything about the chachos, but that I know because I've been through these consult, consults and what, they did rotor rooter and, and, and the chachio is telling them that it's time to get a new pipe and we got to take the tree down and do it. So, you know. I've been I've been up against it before, like yeah, Bruce. Where that's the only that's the only solution that that someone who is invested in in plumbing and sewer work um, is is willing is willing to entertain. Prerequisite: no roots in the area. Then we we'll get started. You know, yeah. like like I said, if we were if we well, how were about like, if we how how about if we uh, uh, does this have to be does this have to be um. Uh, finished tonight this he's got to start digging next week no but i i i you can't you, table uh, this till next month until you get some more information or we're done with this are you figuring you're done with this what not well what i'd like to do all right is i'd like to i'd like to see if we can propose a couple of of um of questions that need answers and if I can answer them, then I had have permission to go ahead with this on a sooner time frame. Now, granted, I haven't gotten to the November and December removals yet. So, you know, this could be waiting. I'm not necessarily going to do them in order. You know, nothing's like real imminent. But, okay, but uh, if the contractor says, Corey, you have to push my job up because we got to get the sewer in because the people can't flush the toilets. What are you going to say? Yeah, okay. I'm going to try to work so with this you. Is, this is what's going to happen here. This is how it's going to play out. So, you know, you want a motion made right away, then I make the motion that they have to replace the tree somewhere else in the town. Come up with a number. That's fair. That's fair. You right. know, because it looks like you don't, nobody wants to do anything anymore. Then I make a motion uh, that if the tree has to come down, they got to give a check to the town for. What you say you can buy a new tree can be a your tree, your choice. All right, so I don't know what's it cost the cost to plant and buy a tree? 600, 400, 600? We would, because it's on town property, we would be purchasing the tree and providing the the, the work. Right. You the, would. Right. Logistics. So they have to write the town a check, you guys, the uh, tree commission, whatever. Uh, yeah. So how much? I, I estimate 250 typically. 250 the tree costs 250 yep. what about the time to plant it that's something we can talk uh, uh, listen, about listen that's normally, up to you okay, normally but... when we normally when we accept a tree planting donation and someone asks how much is a tree i tell them the price of the tree and i don't i don't include the logistical whatever and the time you know i think that number gets really high really quick and you know people want to buy the tree they don't you know what i mean it's it's still it's still a positive for sure because if you don't do that you're going to have everybody eventually calling you about the sewer problem even a tree that's uh, uh way out in the street that's yeah. a, a town tree and uh not even on top of the pipe that they could uh, switch the pipe to they'll want that the next contractor said well you did one on state street just because your tree is now past the sidewalk, 
those roots are coming in my pipes and I need to cut that tree down too. So what I can do is I can confirm, I can seek to confirm that there are indeed roots in the pipe through a second party. All right, I think that's a wise decision here also, because you're right, it is conflict of interest to have the contractor telling me this. Um, the resident is also telling me this, right, first, and then the contractor involved is telling me this, but I can confirm through, I guess, a third source. Um, I could also, I can also confirm pipe location, you know, through that same third party. And no, no, I think no. if we, I think if we accomplish those two items and say, hey, you got to, you got to replace this tree, you know, then I think we have something 250. I think that's a reasonable ask. That's what we typically ask for a tree planting donation. If I can, if I can check those boxes or anything else that is a, of anyone's concern as far as double checking, then I, I'd like to say, I'd like to suggest that if I can check these boxes, this, then this work is a go. I, I would like to see this come up on February's agenda and go over it. And then we make okay. a we make a motion to, to complete that. Okay. Then you can put it on schedule anytime you want. I would like to okay. hear a report on uh, the progress that you did during this uh, the next four weeks. That's what I would like to hear. All right, I would I like to hear, that. I met with this guy and he did this and this guy. And uh, you didn't have the chacho hanging over your head uh, saying, no, uh, th that's not right. So the, even an MDC guy could call an MDC guy. That's what they're there for. Not the guys who market with the paint. They don't give a crap about anything. They're marking the thing. They don't give a shit. They mark as many as things as they can. So you have to have an official there who knows what he's talking about. Maybe who, where the pipes are. Maybe you go in the basement and get an idea where they are yourself. <clears throat> but anyway, kind of for sure. that's what I would like to see at February's meeting, and then we'll vote on it. All right. What um, if the people, what if you make this suggestion to the people, and they go, absolutely not. That tree got to go. We're not paying for another tree. That's ridiculous. You never know how people think. We can require it. And we I can, know you can. We can make a motion and we can require it. And we can we can do as much as is within our within our power to say this is why we think that's reasonable and justified. Oh, and then I don't good. I don't know officially if someone else that's like the council or something, I don't know if they can shut it down or whatnot. Or go or go against our decision, but we can we can say, hey, that's our decision, you know, and see what and see what happens with it. I'm not sure who trumps who and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, let's try that. that. Yeah, that's good. We can we can talk about it in February. Um, I think what I think I probably will be in communication this month about this as long as we don't get completely overwhelmed with snow. Right, right. Because, because you know, the 250 requirement or replanting requirement can also be discussed following the tree removal. Yeah. So long as so long as the roots are in the pipe, like we want to confirm the pipe's location needs to be confirmed. So really, as long as those two boxes are checked checked and well i guess and the the repair is for sure going to take place which i am as confident as i can be um then i would suggest that you know i can reach out and i can say hey we've checked these boxes are we a go you know with with us that have talked about it tonight and then we can we can discuss a replanting requirement in february okay you know is that reasonable to go ahead yes. with it you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I can mention it to him and I can say, hey, we're talking about a replanting requirement, you know, biking ballparks and stuff and what whatnot. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Again, where that conversation leads after we make a decision on it, I don't know. Where that conversation if someone can can shut us down on requiring it of the resident, I don't know. Okay. 
Well, you'll you'll have more information in any event in the next meeting, yeah. right? Absolutely. Um, are we prepared to move on from new business to number five, December work completed? Yeah. Yes. You, you did a lot of work. Okay. Most of this month, most of this month, um, we really got started pretty heavy with um, the cove removals, where it says multiple ash trees removed at the cove bike path. Um, I don't know if you've been to the desert or not, but it's similar. Uh, and multiple ash trees moved behind 63 through 103 Colonel Chester. That took me maybe a week. So that's the lion's share of the work. Yeah, that we, are, we continue that, today too with some of the ash at the cove, and it's a clear cut, you know, in that spot. Oh, at the cove? Yeah, it's a clear cut. On the, How about uh, Colonel Chester? That's pretty bad. It's mostly ash trees in there, right? In those woods. I think the pushback is not going to be a terrible ice store at all. Um, the red maple and the elm that are in there do a good job. They'll making keep, up right. They'll grow back. Making up no for the loss and keeping a tree canopy at the rear border of the lawn and stuff. We, is there a, the integrity of the wetlands and whatnot? Is there a pond over there or just the swamp now? Uh, I didn't notice the pond. There's maybe some open water. I, I'd say it's swampy. We used to go ice skating in there. I fell in there one time. Oh, yeah? As a kid, yeah. They had to pull me out. Dang, all right. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. But we used to go ice skating there all the time. But now they put those neighborhoods in the... As kid, the kids really don't go back there anymore. That was all open sure. space when I was a kid. Sure. The water now, must have been near Wells Road. What's that? The water must have been near Wells Road, no? Oh, it's actually right behind some of those Ivy Lane homes. You know, that's oh, where yeah? we used to go. Yep. Right down yeah, there yeah, right. from Round Hill Road to where, of course, it wasn't Ivy Lane. It was just kind of an open field and then turned to woods and there was a pond there. That's how we went there. You know, right there, because I lived on Round Hill. Okay. So we used to walk down there. Everybody used to ice skate. And of course, you try to ice skate when it wasn't fully frozen yet and fall in. Yeah. All right. Any any other comments or concerns on December work? Did a good job. I'll make a motion to pass that if you need to, but that's good. Um, I appreciate that. We we don't typically we can we can you know approve the, oh, the okay. minute the January minutes in February. Did you do any February. sanding or anything in, in in December? Yeah, um, not me personally. Oh, the okay. highway department and whoever else the parks yeah, department yeah. wasn't it was, wasn't a bad month at all. Yeah. No, no, nope. I was in one of the routes for highway truck um, on Thursday, Thursday Friday. Who's responsible for Ridge Road sanding and plowing? That's going to be, well, that's going to be kind of shared, but it's a main. Okay. So it's going to be, it's going to be truck eight, which, oh. which is our, which is our 10 wheel truck. <laughs> because I was, I was going to take Scarlett on the bus stop. So I was coming from the shop to get to Alex's house to watch the bus stop. So all those steep roads, dicks, not, you know, they were all salted. No problem. That one big ice storm there. <laughs> I get on Ridge Road. It's a skating rink. Straight. <laughs> you couldn't stop. You know, the buses were just yeah. weren't going because they were scared. So it was good. You guys, whoever was doing the side street in the hills, beautiful sanding job. No problem. In fact, most of the streets were. I don't know where I Ridge Road got like left out maybe because it was on the hill there it froze more or something i don't know it would have been it would have been a timing issue like a like a very small scale timing issue of yeah yeah just like the state wound up um you know responding responding to the ice already being there right. we were in that same boat and we did right. not we did not wind up staffing the office early in the right. morning we got out there at seven right it just and, came in you know, quickly we got yeah. to work at six there was nothing and then seven yeah. 
by seven, it was all ice. It was right, incredible. Right. It was yeah, incredible. it was it, it was unique. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not I'm not an expert with the with the road management. I just yeah, I, I know. Was laying you guys in the office there, whoever you know does the, they're pretty good. They got road temperatures and they they keep right on top of it. Do a good job. I yeah, gotta say. Yeah. They showed yeah, me how they so keep long. track of that stuff years ago. I, you know, I got a little primary on how they take care of that back when Joe Hart was, was the yeah. guy, you know? But anyway, yeah, thank you. All right, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Is, is there a second? Second. Can right. ever say aye? Aye. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Okay, thank you, Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey. See you, Mark. See you guys. See you, Bruce. Alex. Okay. See you, Mark. See you, Mark. See you, Alex.